Viewing your validation report in the Easy Validation online tool. The two outputs for your validation are two documents. The first document being the validation protocol, which is what you plan to do, and the second document being the validation report, which is what you did and what the results were and whether you passed or failed your acceptance criteria. At any point during the phase of running your study, you can actually view your validation report. If you go to the right-hand side, you can see the View Validation Report. I can click on View Validation Report even though this study is not completed and all the data has not been entered, but I can view it as I'm in my running study state. And of course, since I'm still running the study, I will be entering and uploading data. But if I'm curious and I want to look at what the View Validation Report looks like even though the study is not completed, I can scroll down and see where my results are at present state. And we can see that Easy Validation Tool has automatically flagged studies. We pass my Accuracy and my Interfering Substances study. My Linearity study is incomplete. My LOD study I've already passed. My Repeatability study is incomplete. And my Reproducibility study I failed because I just don't have enough data at this point. Now what we'll do is demonstrate first of all how to click on Return to return to this study. And now, I'll also go to a study that I've completed. To get me to the study that I've completed, I'm going to choose that study. I know for me, it's study number 281. So I'm going to go to View All Studies. I'm going to scroll down to study number 281. I was in study 280, which is a sales demonstration that's in the running study state. In study 281, my study is complete. It's for a validation of my HIV, so very similar to what I've been working on thus far. I'll click on 281 to open up that study. In the Study Complete section, which is noted here on the right-hand side, I can view my validation report, but I can't actually change any of my data. In other words, everything is completely locked in, uneditable, and that's because I don't want anyone to be able to edit, change or manipulate the data but the data is always available for viewing. To view what my validation report looks like, I could click on View Validation Report, which I will do right now. And it will show me an online version of what my completed study looks like. So it's all the study identification information that we plugged in in the first four easy steps. It shows me a high-level results summary. In this case, for demonstration purposes, we've showed that we failed the linearity and reproducibility as highlighted in red. But probably what would happen is everything would be indicated with a green pass or an LOD number that would be in green because it passed the acceptance criteria. It has all the details of the study outline, the runs, the products that were used from Acrometrics, the different product levels, as well as all the data from the acceptance criteria. And note that there is no ability to change your acceptance criteria via drop-down menu, so all this data is locked in. And likewise, your interfering substances study, again your accuracy target, which is your acceptance criteria of 0.4 log difference, is locked in. It's now showing your linearity, so it charts the linearity as well as the rest of your data, your personnel and materials that were used, and all your run data, including yellow for highlighted outliers for all of the data in your study. And down at the bottom of your validation report is a signature section to verify that the protocol is completed. Print the name, signature, date, director approval and director's signature. This is all available for documentation purposes. That's the online version of the validation report. To save and or get a printout, you would click on Get in PDF, which I've done. The Easy Validation tool will automatically open up a PDF for you. You actually have two choices. You can choose Open With or you can Save. So you could just automatically save your PDF down to your computer. For demonstration purposes, I'm just going to show Open With and it's automatically opened a PDF version which I can easily print by clicking on Print up here. Print my printer and again when we look down it's all the same information, just in PDF format, 
for all of the data of my Easy Validation Tool study. I'm going to scroll to the top and click here on the red X to close out the PDF. Click on the red X to close out that and then click on Return to Study. Your validation report is available to you as long as you know your login and your password, regardless if you're still subscribed to the Easy Validation online tool. For example, if in the future you are no longer subscribing to Easy Validation online tool, but you wanted to look up a validation study that you performed a year ago, you could still log in with your username and password to view your completed Easy Validation tool study.